Well, good morning, people. How are you all diddling? It's another bright, warm, sunny day. Just how we like it. And today, I'm just going for a ride down to the seafront for a cuppa. So let's crack on with it. Shut up and sit down. Need to post a letter right quick. Yeah, today I want to hash over what I've talked about a couple of times, and that's why I personally want to vlog. But first, I want to I want to talk about motor vlogging in general because there's been quite a few people. Um, saying that you know, motor vlogging is dead or it's dying and they all give varying reasons why and I have to admit there's lots and lots of YouTubers that I did su subscribe to motor vloggers in particular who have stopped uploading or have drastically in uh, decreased the amount of motor vlogs that they do upload now I don't believe that the whole um, YouTuber Geddon Oh, the whole monetization and ads and all that lot. I don't think all that's got to do with it because let's face it a lot of these YouTubers that I was subscribed to weren't making any if weren't making a great deal if any at all uh, money that is you know income so it's not because of that you know it might have something to do with the big massive channels you know if they've stopped but none of the big channels have stopped that I can see some have changed direction um, and gone away from motor vlogging as such and more to a, a vlogging style yeah there's not wrong with that I do a mixture of everything but what we're talking about is people stopping vlogging as in just giving it up or almost giving it up so what is the reason behind it you know, why are people giving up motor vlogging is it dead is it dying well it's not dead and it's not dying what I believe is actually happening is that the people that have given up motor vlogging yeah the people that have actually given up motor vlogging are the ones that tried jumping on bandwagon and expected massive results in a very short period of time and because nothing happened in this short period of time like they hoped for they became very disheartened which is easily done uh, on YouTube yeah you know, there's, there's periods when you don't get many views you don't get any additional subscribers you know me, me for example you know I've been doing it a few years I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos up there but I still haven't got above 300 subscribers and there's a couple of reasons for that which is unlike people that wish to jump onto bandwagon and expected massive results in the first six months yeah you know, I, I, I won't bother about results and I still aren't yeah, it says I've still only got you know less than 300 subscribers, but that's just, I'm just pointing out a fact there. Yeah, of course, in an ideal world, I'd like more subscribers. You know, I'd like I'd like my account to you know just blow up, not because I want to earn money from it, but well, just because. No particular reason really. <clears throat> yeah, but that's just life. Yeah, it won't happen. I'm not right bothered. I don't put any loads, loads of hashtags or links to other vloggers or companies or anything. Um, I don't even fill in my description. Usually I just put a title, copy and paste it into the description. You know, matter da, I don't bother with that. I just have basic. And it's just there for people to watch if they want to. You know, if they haven't come across it, like it, subscribe, fair enough. Which quite a lot of you have done. So thank you for that. But like I've said all along, you know, I, I do it for me, it's my therapy. And yes, I know, I'm saying it again, but I do suffer with mental health and you're fed up of hearing about it, but tough. But that's all it is for me, it's, it's a way of getting shit off my chest. Yeah, you know, I'm not the great, greatest conversationalist in the world, far from it. I'm pretty bloody shit, actually. Hello. I diverse. Yeah, anyway, so, <clears throat> you know, that's why I do it, and <clears throat> that's why I don't have a lot of subscribers, because of what I don't do. And that suits me fine, because 
for me it's more of a it's more of a diary type thing which is what vlogging's supposed to be really it's just what I think and how I feel at the time and then I can look back on it and think that were a good day that were a bad day you know whatever you know and that's what it is anyway I'm at Oasis so I'll speak to you in a bit Well, hello again, people. Have a nice hot chocolate down the oasis. And why not? It's a good day for it. So, where was I? Yeah, YouTube. And particularly motor vloggers. Is it dead? Is it dying? No. Not in respects that... Not in the way that everybody's thinking. It's not. Yeah, it's dying as in... It doesn't have the... <coughs> people didn't have the longevity or longevity rather uh, to keep it going like I was expecting too many results too soon yeah it's not a race it's not see who can get the most subscribers and the most likes and most shares yeah none of that counts not in the scheme of things unless you're someone like Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat or Matty Habjibja however you pronounce his name you know who have millions of subscribers and basically earn a living from YouTube but the rest of his mere mortals, it's just somewhere to be creative, upload his thoughts, his opinions, have a whinge, share exciting news, and dare I say it, meet like-minded people. Yep, that's what's happened. There was actually lots more I was going to say on the matter, but sat down in the sun with a cool sea breeze, a nice hot chocolate, I completely forgot everything I was going to say. And I'm trying to think now, because there were a couple of points, but I can't even remember what they were. But anyway, such is life, I say, I say, I say, I say, such is life. On another point though, regarding YouTube and motor vlogging, if you want to start motor vlogging, do it. Get yourself a cheap camera, something that you can plug a microphone in, and do it. Don't do it with a preconception that you're going to be a, a millionaire in 12 months time, like aforementioned. Um, vloggers don't think you're going to get you know, a million subscribers in your first few months don't think you're going to get a lot of likes or shares or views do it purely for the sake of creativity because at the end of the day it's your life if you want to start more vlogging or vlogging or just being any other form of YouTube creator do it because you'll regret it you will, you'll regret it ignore what everybody says that it's dying because it's not now is now is a the best time to get started because a lot of the people that started a few years back hoping to become rich and famous they've all dropped by the wayside so now it's only the serious content creators that are still there the ones that who aren't doing it to be millionaires or famous the ones that are creating for the sake of creativity so create repeat that's all you got to do, for your sake, nobody else. Anyway, it's Suzanne's now, so see you in a bit. Well, hello again, people. A couple of hours at Suzanne's, I think, hour and a half. And she bought me a bacon sarnie from Proudfoot's. Quite a few cups of teas. So now I'm busting, I should have gone to the toilet before I left. And I'm actually going to go get some more bacon sarnies. Yeah, bought myself three more bacon sarnies, two cream buns. And a cat and a milk. It's getting a lot cooler. Right folks, thanks for joining me. As always, it's been a pleasure. And remember, doesn't matter what anybody says, what anybody thinks, if you want to upload whatever it is, just do it. Be creative and repeat. And as long as you do it just for yourself, you'll keep on doing it and you can't ever be disappointed. So saying that, thanks for joining us. Ride safe, be strong, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Shut up and sit down.